Perspective is the biggest challenge many people face when they draw architectural scenes. In this video, I share my absolute best tip on how to get accurate perspective. It's the one I use always. And at the very end, there's a bonus tip. So don't miss that. Have you been in this situation? You have a picture you're about to draw. In this case, a three-story medieval house in the heart of York in the north of England. And you look at it and you know there's obviously perspective involved here. But the problem is when you think about perspective, this is what we see. Remembered from many, many videos we've watched on perspective. And the problem is, this doesn't look like our three-story medieval house in York. There's no eye level line drawn on our picture. We have all these lines that also don't appear. We've got two vanishing points, but our picture isn't even this wide. And clearly the vanishing points aren't going to be on the picture. So how on earth do I use this to draw this? I have drawn hundreds and hundreds of scenes like this one. All of them have perspective because perspective is simply the way something looks from a particular place. If I were to move five meters to the right, the perspective would still be here, but it would be different. It would change because the position I'm viewing it from has changed. If we're looking at something, it has perspective, but it never looks like this. So what do I do? I'm going to show you now how I draw a scene with architectural perspective in it. And this is what I use in every one of the hundreds and hundreds of drawings I've done. And the good news is it never involves a vanishing point. Let's go. We need to start somewhere. And I like to choose a simple part of the subject, which will make it easier to get the proportions correct. So I'm going to start with the end of this beam here on the side. But I get to this point, which is this point, And now I need to get this perspective angle correct. And what I need to know is how to get this angle onto my page. And I simply use my pen. I measure the angle like this. And then I slide it along. And I put a mark which I think indicates where it will be. But now I double check this way. And that looks like it's OK. But I, I'll do it a bit, a bit shorter than that. And there's a rough line drawn lightly. And now I'll check it. And it's just a little bit high. So what I'll do is, yep. And that's the angle. I've got that perspective angle correct. So now I need to draw a bit more of the building. And now we have this overhanging beam here that comes out, which gives us a corner now we can use to measure the next perspective line. And I do exactly the same thing. I measure the angle. I put a mark. I now measure using my mark to see what I've drawn. And then I go back and I check maybe a tiny bit low. Again, I do a light line. It's quite a steep angle. I would never have got that accurately just using my judgment. And now we've got these last lines at the top. Before I do that, though, I'm going to just do a little more detail with this one so I can get a little more of the drawing positioned. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So you can see how I'm establishing these key angles accurately. And so now we're able to do this final line, which we couldn't really do before because we didn't have a start point and we didn't have an end point, but it's exactly the same. I want it to be about that long and I get the angle. And again, I put a dot to indicate where I think it is and then I measure again and I compare that against and it's just a little bit short of an angle. And now I have a look at this and I check it. And it's still actually slightly higher. 
So what I'll do is I'm just going to drop it down slightly there. That's the angle I want. I'm a bit high here, so I'm going to just bring it back a little bit. And so now I add the line work down here. And with this angle here, I just need to position it between the other two. And so here we see the angles are looking nice and reasonably accurate. And then we now just need to finish some detail for the ground floor. The ground floor is more complicated because there's more things here. So it's good to establish the more straightforward parts of our building. And then we can use that just to help draw accurately to align and get proportions for the more difficult part where we've got more things layered in front of and behind each other. And so we just check our angles at the end and see how they went. I will check this one with this one. That's looking good. I check this one with this one. That's looking good. I check this one with this one. That's looking good. I didn't use my pen for this vertical perspective, but it's still looking quite good. There we have it. An easy, accurate perspective. We're not trying to work out where to put the vanishing points and how to make this into a medieval building. Instead, we're using what we know of this to help us understand and anticipate how this looks. But most importantly, we have a fantastic tool in our hand to help us observe more carefully what we're doing. But can I just emphasize the importance of checking them two or three times as we go? I usually find that first dot is not a large enough angle. Now, maybe that's just me, but I'm always keen to get these angles that are high angles, as high as they really are in life in my drawing, because those extremes of angle really add to the drama, the visual drama of our scene. Why not give it a go? Use your pen to measure the perspective angles. And of course it works just as well in two point perspective for the angles going off in the other direction. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. And as an extra bonus, if you like to sketch on location, this works just as well. In fact, because my first urban sketches were location sketches, I actually use this on location first. Of course, there's no reference photo to hover our pen over and get the right angle as we've just done in this drawing. But if I've got the object in front of me, then I do the same thing except that I hold up my pen in front of my eyes and I tilt it to the angle which lines up with the perspective and then I just bring it straight down and place it on my paper. Now I know that sounds like it's going to be as accurate as nothing at all. It works really well. It's easier than it sounds and more accurate than it sounds. Give the location sketching equivalent a go as well. Hold it in front of your eyes, tilt it to the angle of the perspective line you want to check, and then just bring it straight down onto your paper. Honestly, this is such an easy technique tip, and I see so many drawings where the perspective angles are clearly wrong. I just can't understand why everyone doesn't use it. After hundreds of drawings, it's still helping to make my drawings more accurate. I really hope it does the same for yours. But however you draw your perspective, even if you like doing vanishing points, just make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.